All right, folks. Welcome to episode eight of CRT Secrets, failed CRTs. Now, go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee and put aside any distraction that may distract you and pay full attention to this video. I'll give you five seconds to prepare. All right, so before getting into it, a couple of days ago, uh, and for a very short period of time with very limited seats, I have opened my private mentorship, CRT University, to the public. It's not going to be open for long. In less than two weeks, on October 21st, it will close permanently. And it is the, the most advanced mentorship I have ever produced to date. And it is also the final mentorship I will ever produce uh, till the year 2027. Right, so make sure to go go and click on the Telegram link in my YouTube bio and read the instructions in the pinned message in my official Telegram. All right, so once again, pause the video, go to my official Telegram using either my X Twitter or using my YouTube bio, and from there, you are going to go and read the pinned message in my official Telegram uh, to learn how to join. Or you can also uh, simply email r at romeotpt.com. Right, so you won't be able to sign up to CRT University after the 21st of October. And it has stuff which I've never done before, which is uh, in-person events quarterly. And uh, you can pre-order the book only if you are inside CRT University. All right. I'll leave a comment in the pinned comments below explaining how to join. Now, uh, when does CRT fail? CRT fails, and it's important to know when CRT fails uh, because it is one of the main reasons people hop strategies. Uninformed neophyte traders, they hop strategies because they try the strategy, it works once, they're happy, it works twice, they're happy, it works 10 times, they're happy. But then, in the 11th time, when it doesn't work, they... They abandon the, the strategy. And that shows a level of ignorance and arrogance, which is astounding, to be honest. Because you're assuming that you will never make a mistake. And you are a big fat mistake yourself. But you as a growing trader, uh, you are a mistake. You're going to be nothing but mistakes for a long, long time. So expect to suck, expect to lose, expect for the strategy to not, not work, quote unquote, right? Uh, and it's not, I say quote unquote, because the strategy works fine. It's simply you being unable to identify the strategy working because you lack the knowledge and you have to acquire more information. The more you learn, the more you earn, right? So rid yourself of the arrogance and ignorance of thinking that because it didn't work, it's wrong. No, because it didn't work for you, you're wrong. And go fix yourself and your mistake that you made. The system is perfect. The system comes straight from the market makers themselves. It is perfect. It is the markets. Right? So any error you make is your fault and on you. And that's an important preface to the information. Now, when does CRT fail? CRT fails in three main cases. Number one, uh, SMT. Number two, it's already hit the 50%. And number three, uh, you're picking the wrong CRT in the wrong uh, market condition. So incorrect selection of CRT, whether it's the candle itself or whether it's uh, the market conditions. I will go over one and two in this video, 
right? And three, we will hit later. I'll skim over it, but I don't want to overload you with, with information. All right? <coughs> now, SMT. Here we have uh, Bitcoin. And I like to explain with stuff I've either traded myself or analyzed. And in this case, it was both. Bitcoin showed a valid CRT with the turtle soup with the CRTI. And then, naturally, you expect them to go and uh, attack the CRT low, right? But what happened was they almost touched the CRT low. They came really close. And then they rallied away uh, into new all time highs right now why did this happen is this a failed crt no this is you not knowing why this happened and the simple answer is smt and one of the uses of smt which uh one of the main uses of smt which nobody not ict not his parrots uh nobody has ever mentioned before me is SMT can be used and I've said this before SMT can be used to s stop targets from being hit right so SMT will stop the target from being hit what does that mean here we have Bitcoin and we compare Bitcoin to Ethereum right and for the newbies if this is too much information then then watch once and twice and uh, take your time there is no hurry this video is yours forever. It's on YouTube. All right, so what happened here was... There was an SMT between this CRT low. So they were going to hit the CRT over here. Yes, that's a correct uh, statement. But on the way down to the CRT, they created another CRT with an SMT. And that is what caused the trigger. And you're going to check the SMT by looking at this one specific candle. And this is candle SMT. This is something I've taught before uh, more than a year back. And now suddenly everyone's discovering it. Right? So how to choose the smt is you go and you look at the candle smt between this candle and this candle that's an smt right so that candle turtle souped and this candle did not turtle soup and that is the smt in very simple non-complex uh non-mysterious terms right and you confirm the smt with a with a model number one Right, so you have here the August, you have the August open over here. Uh, this is September open, excuse me. September opens, it smashes into August low, and then they close above the down close candle that liquidated the old low, right there. Right, so I'm going to use this one specific candle, and there's many candles. But I'm going to focus uh, and pay more attention to the down-close candle that liquidated the old low. Because that is usually the most consistent uh, catalyst of large price moves. So this one specific candle was the culprit. It's the one that caused this rally. And it's the one that caused this rally as well. So when they dump, down, they dump back down, uh, fooling everyone into being bearish down here again but all there was was an ote right you have a low you have a high you have a lower low you have a higher high a true market structure shift and then an ote go down and they give you a second equal leg all right <clears throat> so this is how you confirm the smt all right so if you go back into the smt lecture it's you confirm either with this or with the true market structure shift targeting new all-time highs. All right. 
So in simple terms, SMT. This specific candle, there was a bearish CRT in action, correct. But on the way down to the bearish CRT, and note this down, Everything I say in these lectures, by the way, you better be noting down in a physical notepad if you want to make the most out of this. Don't binge watch this like it's Netflix, right? This is uh, serious knowledge. And take it seriously. All right, on the way down to the CRT low, they gave me another CRT bullish with an SMT and a confirmation of the SMT. Uh, there was no reason to be bearish after that. All right, so that's one reason why CRT fails, quote unquote. Why SMT? SMT stops targets from being met. <coughs> All right, so they're about to go down into this C R T low but because of the smt they were stopped and the confirmation of the smt further uh stopped price from going down instead there was another crt which worked right there which i saw a lot of you take and uh, that's always nice to see the second reason is now let's go to the daily time frame. Now check this out. A CRT pattern trader would see this and say it's failed. And this is something you're going to see a lot. But it didn't fail. You know why? Because in CRT, target number one is always 50% of the candle. After reaching 50% of the candle, you then have to monitor the way price acts. And if it's ready for a continuation down to the low of the CRT, or it's going to go higher. Right? So the target in any CRT you ever, you ever draw, and this applies to all of them, candle one, candle two, Candle 3's target is always 50%. And it either goes down to the 50% and then reverses higher, which is a valid CRT. It didn't fail because it fulfilled the rule, which is 50%. Uh, and by the way, those who focus on taking the CRT from the high or the low to the 50%, and that's all they trade for the rest of their lives, then they can build a fantastic trading career just on that. Right, so, or it can go down and continue and complete the CRT. And both are valid, both are correct, both are within the rules. That's the second reason CRT fails. Third reason is um, you pick bearish CRTs on the way up to a bullish target or you try and force bullish CRTs on the way down to uh, a bearish target and that's something I'm going to let you go and do the homework for yourself All right so you have your point A CRT low and you have your point B. You have CRT candle one. You have candle two manipulation. <clears throat> all right. And the CRTs you pick all the way up to the 50%. And all the way up to the target. All the way up to the target. Avoid picking bearish CRTs in a bullish market and vice versa. Right, so if you pick, if there's a candle one, candle two, 
and candle three is supposed to be bullish and you try and trade bearish CRTs on the way up, then you won't find a lot of success. It will work sometimes because that's that that is it falls into the field of uh, counter trend trading, which is which has its own uh, place. But to be more accurate, more consistent, uh, have better results, you stick to the CRTs with the trend. Right, you stick to the CRTs with the trend, and vice versa. Right, if you have point A. And you have point B. And try and fit everything within CRT. And then you have candle 2. Then all the way down to the 50%. And to the opposing end of the candle range. Uh, avoid picking bullish CRTs. And pick bearish CRTs. Alright. <coughs> Right, so in summary, CRT fails due to three main reasons. Number one is SMT. If the CRT has been hit, the turtle soup, right? And there is an SMT with a confirmation before hitting the CRT low, then don't force your bias, follow the markets, and go higher, and vice versa. That's reason number one. Reason number two is it's hit the 50%. It has fulfilled one target. It worked. And reason number three is don't buy bullish CRTs on the lower time frame within a higher time frame bearish CRT. And don't sell bearish CRTs on the lower time frame uh, within a higher time frame bullish CRT. And I will give illustrations on this. Uh, on Twitter and Telegram, right? <laughs> right, and if that was too much for you, uh, for some of you, then feel free to go and watch it again once and twice, and three, four, five times. Uh, it's yours. There is no hurry. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Don't listen to anyone. Nobody should have any say in how your progress goes except you. It's you your charts, and everything else is noise. Right. <coughs> I hope you found that insightful. Uh, for those who want to go deeper, uh, make sure to sign up to CRT University within this two-week period. Right, it's less than two weeks left. Uh, I wish you all good luck, good trading, and see you in episode nine.